In this video, I just wanted to introduce views in VinSim, which are uh, ways to enhance your VinSim sketches to effectively add different pages of the sketch so you don't have to put everything all on one page. This can be useful uh, in a number of different ways. So if you've watched the video where I talked about embedding plots directly into your sketch, then sometimes you might not want those plots to be cluttered up with all of the other diagrams, uh, uh, all of the other, say, stock and flow diagrams around them. And so if you want to sort of put your plots off into the side uh, where there's just a page of plots, you can create that. Or, uh, or if you wanted to create sectors, so we've talked about sectors in class, where if you have very large uh, models where several dynamic variables are grouped together in one sector, uh, and there's multiple sectors, each one with different dynamic variables inside, you can actually create a page per sector and then link the sectors with shadow variables. And so I'll give kind of a brief example of how to do that here. And then you could imagine then combining those two things. So you could embed plots for one sector on one page, for another sector on another page, et cetera, et cetera. So to get to views, well, for one, down here in VinSim, there's this tiny little box that says View 1. And if I click on that, then I can see that I can create a new view. Next to it, there's a Choose a Show the Next View, and above it is uh, the previous view. And by the way, all of these formatting options, which are currently showing me the default formatting options, these are defaults for this view. So on other views, you'll, you can actually have other defaults. So uh, if I want to create a new view, I either can do it this way, or if I look under view here, I find that um, I have a bunch of different view options here. So I can say view rename, and I can create, uh, call this view the bacteria view. So it shows me bacteria. And then I can create a new view either by clicking new down here, or I can hit new here. And now I've got a blank slate here, and it went back to 12-point font, so I'm going to change this to 30, so that everything's big again. And so imagine this is, imagine I'm doing a model where I have got uh, a model of bacterial growth going on in one sector, and in another sector, maybe I'm modeling how in infectious those bacteria are as a function of their population in some other population of say population of people or something like that. So I can go into this view and I can rename this one and I'll call this the, I don't know, uh, human view. And I might create a stock. So I'll create a level here um, called um, you know, humans and make that a little bigger, and then I'll create a flow, and, um, and this is um, how about infection rate, and, um, and maybe this stock, uh, maybe I'll actually rename this stock so that it's not humans exactly, but it might be infected humans. Now, this isn't you know, a lecture on uh, SIR models or anything like that. So um, you could imagine embellishing this so I could have like susceptible humans, infected humans, etc. Um, but all I'm trying to show here is that you could create another stock and flow model in a different view. So I've got this stock and flow model in this view, this stock and flow model in this view. And then if I go up and create, uh, click on shadow variable, I can then add a shadow variable to bacteria onto this view. So there's my bacteria shadow variable. And so this variable is identical to this variable over here. So it's as if I've connected a wire from this view into the other view. Um, and what's tricky about that is if I actually delete this shadow variable, it will delete this variable over here, and so I'd have to redraw it. So that's a little bit of a headache of using shadow variables, at least in the VinSim PLE, this kind of student version here. In the more professional versions of VinSim, there are ways to hide things and things like that, and I think you can actually hide a shadow variable, which is an alternative to deleting it. But 
Um, unfortunately, if you know if we're stuck with Vince and PLE, then once you've created a shadow variable, then if you delete that shadow variable, you have to be prepared to recreate whatever of the defined variable that you originally created was, um, you know, wherever it happens to be. So we created a shadow variable in this view, and I could create a link from that shadow variable to some other dynamical variable like this flow rate, and then um, that allows me to then create uh, in the infection rate here, I can say, well, the infection rate is going to be the number of bacteria times some constant or something like that. And, um, and then, so then the number of infected humans, I'll give uh, an initial value of zero. And so now um, I've effectively built two sectors. I have a bacteria sector and a human sector, and they are linked to each other, um, where the bacteria is linked to the humans. It doesn't go back the other way. I could actually go into the bacteria sector, and if I wanted to, I could create another shadow variable. So I could like you know create one here, and I could actually select, say, infected humans, or whatever variable I want from that other view, and um, I'm gonna hit cancel because I don't want to do that, but I could plot an, or put another shadow variable here and make these things depend on that shadow variable. So I can have cross coupling of uh, you know dependencies between these two things and then oh and then notice that again so these show the previous and all that uh, so I can just click on these things so I can say show previous view show the next view and that's maybe a quicker way to go back and forth but I've created these things and, um, and I mentioned I could um, then say I wanted to so I'm going to move this around here so I'll move this bacteria down here and maybe I'll move all of these up a little bit. And again, if you have seen um, the, uh, if you've seen my other video about creating embedded plots, I could use this IO object and I could put a plot down here, so a custom graph. And I don't haven't defined any custom graphs here. And again, see my other video for how to do that. But then I could put a plot right down here of just the infected humans. And then I could put a plot um, just say over here of, uh, of just the bacterial population, but I'm going to leave that out for now. So if I'm to click simulate, so it simulates, and now it actually simulated both of those things. And so if I click on say bacteria, and I click on graph, I see the bacterial growth, and I guess I could save this somewhere. I'm going to just kind of close it. If I go over to humans. And if I were to click on uh, infected humans and then click on graph, then I see that the infected humans are also growing uh, because I have the infection rate for the humans um, to be depending on the number of bacteria. And so the, um, as the number of bacteria grows rapidly, the infection rate grows rapidly, so the number of infected humans grows sort of even more rapidly. So there you go. So that is um, a way in which you can create pages to clean up your models so that uh, you don't have to have everything all on one sketch. You can uh, make things talk to each other across sketches. And, um, and then again, I mentioned that before, I could have created a new view and I could embed a bunch of plots into here. And then if once I click simulate, um, then all of these plots uh, will end up uh, you know, updating uh, and without me actually even seeing any of my diagrams. And so um, now if I want to, I can delete that view. And so I can go up to view and say delete. It'll say, Are you sure this can't be undone? And, um, and I, and I want to close on that point because if I say delete this view, it's going to delete this shadow variable. And deleting this shadow variable is going to mean also deleting this stock right here. So that's something you have to be careful with is if you decide that you don't want one of these views again, that may end up meaning deleting a shadow variable. And so if I were to go in here and say, you know what, I don't like this sector, I'm not interested in this, subset or this subsystem, so I'm going to delete this view. And... Um, and then, and then it proved me wrong. It left the bacteria there. So um, I've had, so I mean, normally when I do that uh, and I go to that other view, this uh, defined variable will end up disappearing. So, um, you know, if I were to create a shadow variable to bacteria, so there it is, there's my shadow variable. I go back here, bacteria is still there. And if I go and delete that, now if I go back to this, 
then it's gone. So that's normally what happens when I delete a view that includes shadow variables, uh, but it didn't that time. So um, there may be, you know, some peculiarity with VinSim, but just in general, when you're creating shadow variables, be very careful when you delete them because uh, the defined variables usually also go away, and then you either have to read, you have to redraw them. Basically, is sort of your only option. All right, but I hope that's useful, and uh, if you know, you can make use of these views to start cleaning up uh, your sketches in VinSim.